the planet itself is changing. Climate change is not a future threat that's in front of us. Climate change is happening to us right now. It's accelerating and it's gonna be a big part of our future and the future of uh, living things on Earth. So for us to be able to study that in real time over long periods of measurement really, really matter. And sound is one of the best ways to do that. My name is Topher White, CEO of Rainforest Connection. Rainforest Connection is probably best known for acoustic monitoring. It's listening to all the sounds of the forest and other natural places, picking out the sounds of danger, like the sounds of chainsaws, logging trucks, gunshots, and then sending real-time alerts to people on the ground, like tribes, NGOs, and governments, so that it can actually show up and stop these destructive activities in real time. Hitachi has worked with Rainforest Connect to make much more advanced level solutions that can help predict some of these illegal logging activity earlier in advance, and hence uh, preventing and helping with illegal logging. Predict illegal activity before they occur. So being able to use predictive analytics to warn of potential logging activity before it occurs actually allows us to save precious forests, precious hardwood, and eliminate some of these trophy loggings that a lot of illegal loggers do. So it's just connecting people in the most remote places to what's happening in the cloud, which sounds difficult without connectivity. But Touch Mantara stepped in and actually gave us exactly the type of expertise we needed in two really critical areas. So number one, being able to store and analyze big data and all this audio that's coming in from these devices and upload it to the cloud. And number two, use machine learning and AI to be able to detect particular anomalies in that data. So using convolutional neural networks and machine learning to create a model that's able to detect disturbances and predict illegal activities before they occur. When illegal activities like a logger will come, they usually will bring in trucks and lots of people will come in. And that will create a change in the pattern of the noise. That usually means the insects, the birds are either making different noise or making too much noise. There might be animals that move out and there might be a complete silence. These kind of anomalies, which is a change in pattern from a regular noise for the forest, is what we detect. The animal can listen, can actually be aware of these activities a few days or a few hours before they actually happen. And this allows us to capture the details in anomaly and validate it a uh, few hours, a few days before they actually will happen. And that creates uh, the essence of the prediction model that Hitachi has built. That's not magic. It's actually about being able to listen to the sounds of the forest or being able to, to see the way that a bird reacts to an insect, reacts to a, a mammal, reacts to a person with a gun. This allows us to understand the fabric of ecology itself that much better. That's the work that Hitachi has, has enabled through their studies now and that they're committed to continuing with. You want to be able to listen to the sounds of nature and really understand the fabric and the beating heart of nature itself through the sound that animals make. And that's really uh, the biggest sort of step forward for us, is being able to listen to the sound of our living planet and extract everything that we can from what's there.